Why is society becoming so divisive? I think there's two things. We all seek freedom and we all seek connection. And both are under siege. Right now, we are supposedly connected in ways that we never were before through our cell phones, our computers, all of these devices can connect us to anybody in the planet. And yet, why are we so lonely? Why is suicide rates going up? Why is engagement one of the biggest issues that companies are now facing? It's because with this connection, we're missing that intimacy. We're missing the connection of a person to a person. You can't connect the same way looking at somebody face to face as you would connecting them with a tweet or a cell phone call. And so we have this false sense of connection that is just creating more and more loneliness. And the other thing I believe is that because of this environment where we're not really connecting is that we don't have the ability for civil discourse. We aren't able to communicate our concerns, our fears, our vulnerabilities in a way that's appropriate. So many times we have people are now sending emails to their boss, to their employees, highly sensitive, controversial things that are going to create all sorts of misinterpretations or hurt feelings, and yet we do it all the time. And so we're losing the art of the debate we're losing the art of being able to have healthy conflict. And so these two things of conflict aversion plus this feeling disconnected or more importantly lonely is causing people to feel more and more divisive towards one another. And so in organizations and companies, if we're trying to create cultures of a one team perspective, yes, cell phones and all these technologies are useful. But we need to have time where we can see each other, connect with each other, maybe even break bread. We need to be able to train and encourage that open discourse where conflicts can be explained and expressed. And so in short, we're divisive because we are hungry for real connection and the ability to practice healthy conflict.